At a time when cyber threats pose some of the greatest security risks to countries around the world, the United States and Japan have announced an unprecedented move to join forces in strengthening their cybersecurity collaboration. With tensions between East and West rising over highly volatile issues such as North Korea, this marks a major cooperative step forward for two of the biggest economies. As both governments attempt to protect their citizens from malicious actors looking to exploit weaknesses in national infrastructure systems, this new agreement has far-reaching implications for global information safety. Hello and welcome to Businessville. Today's video will explore the recently announced US-Japan security collaboration. Before we continue with our video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for more amazing content. The US-Japan Alliance The United States and Japan unveiled plans to strengthen their alliance to counter threats from North Korea and China, which they described as the region's greatest security challenge. Foreign and defense ministers from both nations condemned China's growing assertiveness in the Indo-Pacific and elsewhere. They also called out Russia for its conflict with Ukraine and chastised North Korea for expanding its nuclear and missile programs in unusually blunt terms. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, and their Japanese counterparts, Yoshimasa Hayashi and Yasukazu Hamada, said in a joint statement that China posed an unprecedented threat to international order and pledged to double their efforts to counter it. Will this be a new era of strategic competition? The ministers all agreed that China's foreign policy aims to change the international order in its favor by using its growing political, economic, military, and technological power. This behavior worries the alliance and the rest of the world, and it's the biggest strategic challenge in the Indo-Pacific region and beyond. They also said how strongly they disagreed with China's illegal maritime claims, the militarization of reclaimed land, and threatening and provocative actions in the South China Sea. The ministers also strongly criticized North Korea for launching an unprecedented number of illegal and careless ballistic missiles in the last year, including multiple intercontinental ballistic missiles and a ballistic missile that flew over Japan. How are the US and Japan modernizing their alliance? In light of the changing roles and missions of the alliance and the increased interoperability of its capabilities to meet security challenges, the ministers emphasized the importance of strengthening bilateral coordination through the alliance coordination mechanism, so that all possible situations can be dealt with quickly and effectively. The US applauded Japan's decision to establish a permanent joint headquarters in this regard. They further agreed to investigate more effective alliance command and control relationships to improve interoperability and responsiveness. Allied peacetime efforts. The ministers emphasized the critical importance of cooperating in times of peace to deter an armed attack on Japan and destabilizing activities in the region. They agreed to strengthen bilateral coordination, particularly in the areas of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The ministers stressed how important it is to improve cross-domain capabilities, especially ones that combine land, sea, air, space, cyber, electromagnetic spectrum, and other domains. What did they say about cyber and information security? The ministers talked about how important cybersecurity and information security are to the alliance as a whole. They welcomed the formation of the JSDF Cyber Defense Command and agreed to increase collaboration in order to combat increasingly sophisticated and persistent cyber threats. The US welcomed Japan's initiatives to strengthen its national cybersecurity postures, such as the establishment of a new organization to coordinate whole-of-government cybersecurity policies and the implementation of a risk management framework. These steps would pave the way for a wider range of cooperation between the US and Japan. The ministers praised the progress made in industrial cybersecurity, especially Japan's work to create standards for cybersecurity measures for the defense industry. To further strengthen operational collaboration, the US and Japan also signed an updated Memorandum of Cooperation on Cybersecurity. U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas and Japan's Minister of Economy, Trade, and Industry Yasutoshi Nishimura signed the memorandum. Japan is stepping up significantly in tandem with the United States and its partners in the Indo-Pacific and Europe. Officials in the Biden administration 
lauded Japan for stepping up in the aftermath of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Japan joined the United States and other Western allies in imposing harsh sanctions on Moscow, and Japanese automakers Mazda, Toyota, and Nissan announced their withdrawal from the country. Both countries have become more formidable against rogue cyber attacks and malicious infiltration with the new cybersecurity collaboration. The findings will bring them one step closer to a safer digital future, but more work remains to be done. Together, they can build an effective system to protect themselves from cyber criminals, while also educating each other on best practices and strategies to help everyone protect their digital footprints. As always, let us know in the comments how you think this new agreement between two global leaders will affect technology safety for individuals and organizations around the world. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time. We'll see you later.